So we wake up one morning and we decide that we'd really like to know how much apparel we're selling in the in the business, or we'd like to know, you know, how many belts or how many tires we're selling, and and we realize that we we can't see what we want to see, and so we start looking for a report to give us the information, and there really isn't a good report that gives us the the profitability on any one of the the particular things that we're after. What I'm going to do in this video is show you the proper way to deal with this, and it and it comes back to dealing with the contact record. Um, if you if you think back when when we first started using the system, when we set up the manufacturer, um, and and just for for clarity here, I'm on Arcticat in the demo database here, and I'm clicking on. I've told it that they're a manufacturer, and I'm going to click on the word manufacturer here. This brings up a lot of detail, but the main thing I'm after is the detail here for default parts accounts for Articat. Now, right now, if we pick them, you can see that by default, every vendor and every uh, contact record that we set up as a manufacturer, they go into the default accounts, and, and that is the miscellaneous account. But I have the ability to actually clarify this and break certain ones out. Now, I'm going to go on record here and say don't go crazy with this because you'll end up with a P&L that has so many things broken out that you can't really see what's going on. So don't don't create a new account for every single manufacturer you have um, because I can tell you will regret that. But if you've got a couple of your bigger vendors that you'd like to separate out, all you're going to do is click this uh, wizard hat here and just by clicking it, and, and this one already ha has them created, but somebody's gone in and changed the account numbers on here. But the um, system will go out and create new account numbers for the sales, cost of goods, and inventory accounts for this particular vendor. Now, I mentioned at the beginning that I really would like to know how much I'm getting on or how much I'm making on apparel as an example. So I want to create a separate set of accounts for a specific category. So there's a couple different ways to do this. One, and, and this is the way you're going to do it at the front all the time. So we're going to go down here to the bottom of this control, and we can say set up category-specific accounts. I'm going to select that option, and we're going to come down here and just look for one. We'll go to apparel, and I'm going to click the little edit button here, and you're going to notice that the information up here at the top changes when I do this. So I'm going to click edit. Apparel does not currently have any accounts, and so we're just going to say OK. So now what I have done is I have specified that for apparel, I want to have a separate bunch of accounts that I want to use. I want a separate sales expense and uh, cost of goods and inventory account for this, for anything that comes in for Articat that happens to be of this uh, type. Now, I'll show you in a second how to actually set these types, but and there's actually another video on it anyway, but... The, the, the thing here that you need to understand is that if I do this, if I click this wizard hat here, it is going to create a separate group of accounts for Articat apparel. But if I would rather put all apparel for every manufacturer all in the same group of accounts, I, I can do that one of two ways. I can go manually create new accounts for them so that they, so that I have the, the three accounts that I need. I manually create them in the chart of accounts, and then I come over here, and I just click this and come down and select the one that I want to have. Or I could click the hat, let Lizzie go out and create apparel for Articat, and then I can go to the chart of, chart of accounts and edit this and change it to just being generic vendor. So it just sells apparel. And, and then what I would do is on every other vendor, I'm just going to come in here and select that same account instead of clicking the wizard hat. So the wizard hat actually goes out and physically creates new accounts for me so I don't have to go to the chart of accounts at all. And then I can just reuse those accounts on the other vendor. Now, I can set up accounts like this for all kinds of different categories. So we can have, again, one set of accounts for the manufacturer, and then we can set up specific accounts for the different types of things that we're selling, batteries, tires, that kind of thing. So this is how you would actually start this process to, to get the system to, to start to track the, the sales and the, the inventory hits and stuff. 
separately for this type of thing. Now, what will happen is because we have done this at the accounting level, now our P&L and our balance sheet are going to actually be broken out by those categories. So I can see how many tires I have in inventory, how many you know tires I sold and what the profitability on them is and, and so forth. So it, it really starts to open up a lot of possibilities for you for, for getting detail out of the system. Now, I mentioned to, to do this, we have to actually tell something that it is a an apparel item. So I'm just going to come over here real quick, and we'll just locate something here. And in this particular, uh, I'm looking at an item, and it really doesn't matter what it is. But right here, um, we've got two things that we have to think about. We've got the web categories, which are used for the website. This is not what we're in, interested in setting right now. We are actually in, in, uh, interested in setting this primary category because that's what's used for all of the accounting. So to do that, we're going to edit the part record, and we're just going to come down here to primary category and we're going to set this item as an apparel item and then we're just going to save the item so now we have told the system that this is an apparel item and now anytime and keep in mind this is not the same manufacturer that we were setting over in the contact section but if it were um, the every part that I bring into inventory or every part I sell that matches this uh, standard category of apparel is going to start using those other chart of accounts so it gives you the ability to, to drill in and get as much detail out of the P&L and the balance sheet that you'd like to have simply by changing a single record on the contact um, and then telling the system what type of item that happens to be.